We promised you a journey at the, begin of this, of the, at the beginning of this event, and we want to invite you to join us for our first destination. We will now hear Alon from Iswal, part of Global Cohort 8, <laughs> talking about his experience of the internship in Namibia. Welcome, Alon. <laughs> In the last months, since our return from the internship, we've discussed between us the experiences and challenges that we face and the importance of this part of the program. We now know better. We touch and face many sides of the world of development. We experience the energy and motivation of great people in remarkable organizations. But, as well, in some cases, we experience inefficiency and, yes, even some failures. However, while the world of development has plenty of room for improvement, something is still working, and it's making a huge change for millions of people. There is no doubt about it. One of the improvements that could have the most impact is to shift the focus to local organizations. My name is Elon Cohen Lipschitz. I'm an architect, and I did my internship with Jacques Dwellers in Namibia. I would like to take you to a world of development where the community is at the center of the activities and the main generator of their own development. In Namibia, around one million people, about 40% of the population, are living in shacks in what are known in former settlements. They have no land and no money, so they are moving to the edges of the cities and building themselves a temporary shelter. They live in a very harsh conditions and lack basic services such as water, electricity, and toilets. Although it is tough life, I met very happy people, and every meeting started with dancing and singing. One of the most important things that I learned was that the key to success is the involvement of communities with their own development, with their own future. It is not what's called bottom-up. It is more than this. It is by the people, for the people. It means that the communities are leading the activities and taking ownership of the process. For example, in order to develop and to find a solution to these unbearable situations, knowledge is important. And nobody knows better what is going on in the informal settlements than the shack dwellers themselves. So people from the community are collecting data. They're walking from shack to shack, knocking on each door, numbering it, talking to people, mapping their informal settlement and then analyzing the data. Now they know exactly how many families are living in the area, how many people don't have toilets or water, how many schools, clinics, or shops there. And they know now the most essential needs of the community. What is so nice about it is that after they learn how to do it by themselves, they are training other communities to do the same. It sounds very basic and simple, but their knowledge is their power and they should use it. Afterwards, with different partners and supporters, including the local authorities, they are looking for land and planning solutions that are based on their knowledge. So they're coming up with their own ideas and sketches about how they want to live, how the streets will look, what kind of houses they would like to build, and where their children are going to play. The most important part of the planning process is that the community is the center of this initiative. The simple message is, plan with us, not for us. The next phase is the physical upgrading. And even here, you will see that the communities are taking part by building their new houses, making bricks, and digging trenches for pipes. I was really lucky to work with Namibia Housing Action Group, which support the Shack Dwellers Federation. I was part of this support working with the communities on collecting data, mapping their informal settlements, and collaborative planning. It is not perfect. There is a room for improvement, but this is the right way towards development. The key lesson is that development is about change, and changes to the lives of shack dwellers cannot happen with the full involvement. For us, as practitioners, we should always remember that we need to support the communities and to stand behind them and not in front of them. Thank you so much.